Hey, crossword fans. Today we're gonna to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, August 22nd, 2021. Today's puzzle has a title, it's called Resettling Letterings. And those two words are actually anagrams of each other. So I think it's a safe bet that we may have a anagram theme on today's puzzle. All right, let's get started and see if we're correct about that. One across, what a drawbridge may bridge. It's probably a moat, right? They got a castle. My two blank 2015 Claudia Harrington children's book. Uh, hmm. I would guess maybe that's mom's. I don't know if I've actually heard of that, but I feel like that would make a lot of sense there. Top. Hmm. I wonder if this is a verb. I wonder if this is one of those tricky one word. It could be an adjective or it could be a noun or it could be a verb type clues. Um, yeah, because top could be a verb. Maybe it could be outdo. Although MT, unless this is a mountain. Hmm. And SD looks really bad too. 2004 film about a group of maligners and maligners is in capital letters. So I imagine this is probably an anagram of something. Um, hmm. If the answer is an anagram, how many letters do we have here? Nine letters and this is nine letters. Yeah, it's definitely going to be an anagram. Hmm. I'm not sure. It definitely doesn't have a T though. So that is wrong for sure. Appliance brand since 1934. Could that be a mana? I've heard of that. P shooters. And this is wordplay. So are they not talking about like a straw that you shoot a P out of? Hmm. Is it just about like shoots that produce peas, like vegetable shoots? Hmm. I'm not sure. That one's blank, my bad. That one's on me, I think makes sense there. Annual film festival where Saw and Get Out premiered. Well, those are both horror movies, but maybe it's just Sundance. <laughs> I mean, it fits so well there. I think it has to be. Avoids a bogey, perhaps. A bogey is in golf when you hit one over par. So maybe this is pars. You would hit par, you would avoid hitting a bogey, yeah. So maybe this is one up. We were very close in what we thought that was, yeah. We had that it was a verb, but we didn't quite get the right answer. Um, hmm. Boy, I'm not sure what this is gonna be. M-E-A. Hmm. 2004 film. I'm gonna need a little bit more help here. They may be blown. Is it a gasket? Yeah, don't blow a gasket. That's a funny colloquial phrase too. Sign me up, an equivalent phrase could be I'm in. Complete travesty, could that be a farce maybe? Okay, I think finally I'm getting a clue as to what this is gonna be. Is it Mean Girls? Nice, and that anagrams into maligners. This is great because maligners means people that kind of criticize something, right? Um, and that could describe mean girls, right? They would be maligning other girls, yeah. Wow, this is fun. Um, I wonder if they're all gonna be films. I somehow doubt it, um, but we'll see. Amelia Bedelia, e.g. Amelia Bedelia was a character in a children's book. Um, hmm. In that case, could be if so. Feature of many British accents. Is it a silent R? Yeah, a lot of British accents don't pronounce the R. What in the world is this? Binge is too much for short. Oh, D's. Oh, yeah, that's right. She was a maid. Okay. Being. Is that just an entity? Yeah, a very general term for something that's alive. 
Muletas are waved at them. Muletas? Uh-oh. Is this about bullfighting? Is this Tauros? Hmm. Just so? Is it to a T, maybe? Tote? <laughs> Star in Canis Major. Hmm. I don't know, is it like Cirrus or something? Or Sirius? I think it is Sirius, right? Because Sirius Radio has a dog as their logo, right? That would make a lot of sense. Okay. Blank La La, 1964 hit. I have no idea. Is it Sha La La? As if orchestrated. As if orchestrated. That's interesting. It's not actually orchestrated. Hmm. Indexed data structures. I think that should be an array. Arrays. Yeah, that's like a organized list of data. Go me. <laughs> an equivalent phrase could be I rock, maybe. Got a lot of self-confidence there. Control tower installation should be radar. Is this right on cue? That would make sense. Directly. Hmm. D-O. This is probably another anagram, right? It might be put on for stage pageantries. And it starts with G-R. Hmm. For stage pageantries. Does it start with great? RK? Ooh, wait a minute. Something seems wrong here. Do a double take. And this is wordplay. This almost feels like it should start with RE. Like redo something, right? So maybe this is I rule instead of I rock. Yeah. Um, is it reshoot? Like on a movie set, that would be a double take, right? This is not about like taking a second glance at something, right? Fourth person to walk on the moon. Oh man. Well, it was Neil Armstrong and then Buzz Aldrin. I guess this would have been on the next mission to the moon. I'm not sure if I know that. Hmm. I'm not sure, what is this? Is this Grease? Is this about the musical Grease? G-R-E-A-S-E, -E. hmm, maybe. It's, it's hard to do anagrams just in your mind without pen and paper. Senator E.G. for short. Hmm. Well, a senator is a hockey player. There's a team called the Senators, right? So maybe this is an NHLer. <laughs> That's grown worthy crossword answer. Um, House Republican VIP Stefanik. Yeah, that's Elise. Hmm. Be hopping mad? Could be boil, maybe? Does that help? Hmm. This could be Alan something. Canon camera? Oh, geez. I think they have an EOS, maybe? Ooh, I'm not sure, actually. Boot? I guess that could be expel, like if you boot someone out of a group. Member of a noble family. Ooh, this is a tricky clue. This is a little bit of a misdirection. This is not about human royalty. This is about noble gases, I think. I think this is going to be Xenon, one of the noble gases. Pass. Hmm. Maybe it's about legislation. Could it be enact? Let's see if that's right. Almost could be near. What makes Shrek shriek? And this is wordplay. Maybe it's about literally transforming the word Shrek into the word shriek. You just add an I, right? Very funny there. One side in a debate could be con. It may be blown. Is that TNT, trinitrotoluene, I believe? So what is this? Grease paint? Is that right? Is grease paint used in pageantry? Uh, maybe. I don't actually really know what grease paint is used for. Hopefully the goose can enlighten us. Is this another anagram here? It is, okay. 
sort of schematic for Christian education. Schematic, hmm. Well, it doesn't come to me immediately. Can we get this here? City nicknamed the Old Pueblo. Is that Tucson, Arizona maybe? Maybe. Hot dog topper. Hmm, it's not slaw, is it? Tony Morrison title heroine? Oh my God. Uh, I don't think I know this. Oh my God, how do you pronounce this? Mike Krzyzewski to Duke basketball fans. Okay, that's my best guess. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Mike, I know I butchered your last name. Um, I don't know, it's probably something K at the end, right? So everyone doesn't have to learn how to pronounce that name. Um, opposite of never, is it like all the time? Every time? Hmm. Boy, we kind of struck out working into this section. Schematic. I wonder if we could take a minute and think about this. I mean, Alan Bean maybe would make sense. That would be an A. Hmm. You know what? Let's try and build out into this corner. Cool one? Is that like a beer? That's a cold one. It's not quite the same thing. Hot dog topper again. Uh, mustard? Kraut? Sauerkraut? I would want it to be kraut. Uh, I don't know if that's right though. Airline passenger request. Window or aisle maybe? Lion blank? Hmm. Response to brisk weather, and this is wordplay. Hmm. I mean, this sounds like you're shivering from the cold, right? I guess maybe is it about just putting on something warm? Huh. Branch of Islam. That should be Shia, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, hmm. In New York, you only put mustard and sauerkraut on your hot dog, so I'm not sure what this is gonna be. French city near the Belgian border. <laughs> My French geography is nowhere near good enough to get that one. Annual British acting award. Yikes, hmm. Well, hopefully we can come up with it with some crossing help. Hmm. Is this catechism? It is, right? Catechism is Christian education, right? All right. Uh, how do we spell this? I think it's like that, right? Schematic. Yeah, I think that's all those letters. Okay. Um, rise. Hmm. Is it about waking up? Is it just about increasing? Hmm. Response to brisk weather. It's not shovels, right? Hmm. Is it chive? What is this? It's not relish. It's not ketchup. What in the world is this? Cool one. A cool cat, right? Uh, lion tamer? Maybe it is a chive. No, maybe it's chili. Okay, there is chili hot dogs. All right. Still don't know this city. Is this Olivier? That would make sense because Lawrence Olivier was like a really good British actor, right? Maybe it is shovels. That's so weird. I don't really get this. I don't get how this, I mean, obviously if it's snowing, you'd have to shovel, but I don't know. This seems like a little bit of a weird leap of logic. Uh, hmm. This seems like it should be an H maybe. Rise. Hmm. Don't believe it. So this is an exclamation point. So that means 
This is a definition clue. So it's asking, this is something that you don't believe. And I guess that should be a lie, right? Very nice. Justin Trudeau by birth. Justin Trudeau is the Prime Minister of Canada, right? Um, hmm. Maybe it's an Ottawin? I'm not sure. It's probably just a city in Canada. Ottawa's the capital of Canada, right? That would make sense, maybe? Influence? Could be Sway. Ooh, I think we got it. Gets a move on quaintly? Is that highs? That's kind of a way to say move quickly in old timey language. Uh, opposite of never. It seems like it should end in time, right? I don't know about highs though. Yeah, let's take that out. Mana blank, that's Mana Loa. Ooh, I spelled Ottawin wrong, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, Mauna Loa is a volcano on Hawaii. Hmm. Nickname of a college basketball person. Yikes. Is this wrong, Q? This E looks so weird. Opposite of never. Hmm. Oh, here we go. We get another anagram. Healthy eaters may give this a wide berth. Okay, so it's maybe going to be a food that's really unhealthy. Hmm. Rise. This should be climb. Oh my god. Okay, so this is lull. Yikes, I've never seen this before. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what that is still. Group that hasn't yet found what it's looking for. And this is abbreviated. So maybe it's SETI, search for extraterrestrial intelligence. They are asking, are we alone, right? Okay, blank mini 2010 hit. Hmm, I don't think I know this. Battling. Hmm. Rings up. Is this about buying something at a store? Pioneering gangster rap group? That's got to be NWA, right? Um, yeah, that was like Ice Cube's group with a bunch of other people. Maybe this is at war? Hmm. Rings up. Apropos of. Hmm. Apropos of. What does that exactly mean? Isn't that like in response to kind of? I'm not 100% sure on the exact meaning of apropos. I see it all the time. I really should learn that one. Like that'll ever happen. An equivalent phrase. Um... Hmm. Maybe it's you wish? Yeah. Okay. Preferring one's own company, perhaps. Uh, hmm. Like introverted? L like a loner? I don't know. Word repeated in I blank, I blank, it's off to work I go. <laughs> is this a joke about the song in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? Hi-ho, hi-ho. Maybe it's I-O, I-O. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Um, apropos of... Hmm. Content people or maybe content people? This is wordplay. Hmm. It's like influencers or something? Ugh, that's tricky. I don't know which is the standard reading there. No need to make me a plate. An equivalent phrase could be, I ate. Yeah, you're not hungry. A crowd, they say. Three is a crowd, right? Two's company. It has three legs. Uh, what has three legs? A tripod has three legs. Hmm. Be taken aback. Hmm. 
Word after hard or before short. Hmm. Boy. This is a pretty tricky Sunday. Not even? Is this about being odd, maybe? Not even. Or maybe it's about owing money? Hmm. The Trojans lacked the foresight to turn this down. Okay, so I think this one is maybe a little easier than some of the ones we've had before. This definitely needs to end in horse, right? Um, so we have H-O-R-S-E. So what else do we have? T-G-F-I. Right, okay, TGFI is gift, right? Gift horse. They should have looked a gift horse in the mouth on that one occasion, I guess. Very nice, okay, whew, these are so hard. Even when you get a lot of letters, it really takes a lot of effort to see what the anagram is. They may be set by industry groups. Those are definitely standards, yeah. We should not be letting industry groups self-regulate. That's kind of a bad idea. All right, children's author Blighton. Uh, hmm. This sounds vaguely familiar. Some appliances? Could that be GE's General Electric's? Is it Enid? I don't know. They know the drill, abbreviated. This should probably be sergeants, right? For drill sergeants? Yeah, that's pretty cute. Common April activity nowadays? Is this about tax season? Hmm. Make over as a ship. Is that refit? Yeah, you're kind of like putting new rigging and sails on and stuff, right? Maybe it is Enid. This would be ING. I think it almost has to be Enid Blighton. Not even. Hmm. Less than? Yeah, okay. And then, can we get this corner finally? An easel has three legs, yes, okay. Girl in the old curiosity shop. Hmm, I don't know what this is a reference to. The old curiosity shop. Fell hard? Short fell? No, hard sell, sell short, right? Okay, there we go. All right. Hmm, is it Nell? Be taken aback could be real. Yeah, I haven't heard of this character or this, I'm assuming it's like a story or a play maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so maybe this is just creators, yeah. Like you would find on YouTube maybe. Um, hmm. Preferring one's own company. Interesting. Explorers of the untraversed. Well, it's explorers, so it should end in an S, right? Um, hmm. Untraversed. Seems like if we could figure out where the V goes, that would be very helpful. Is it like venturers? It seems like that would be really good. Venturers. So what does that leave us with, though? Maybe it's adventurers? Yeah, we haven't used the A and the D. There we go. Okay, that's good. International Cosmetics Company Blank Rocher. Oof, I have no idea. Uh, hmm, maybe it's e-filing. Yeah, that's a very modern way to do your taxes. Okay. Maybe it's as to, apropos of, probably is like regarding. Yeah. Maybe this is a social. There we go, okay. Is this just eeny meeny? And then rings up. Could that be dials like on a telephone? Oh my God, okay. All right. Um. Oh, good. This is not shovels. This is shivers. That's a much better answer. Okay. I'm really glad it wasn't shovels. 
Okay, shivers. That is a response to brisk weather because it makes you say brr. That's much better. Whew, what a relief. I'm so glad. Okay. And then this is lil. Um, it's not every time. And this is bread. Something bread. Maybe it's white bread. There we go. Okay, yes, because white bread isn't as good for you as whole grain. Yeah, okay. That's great. Whew. I don't know, you might be able to tell that uh, I'm just sitting here and thinking about the anagrams for a little while, so that's probably why there's some time skipping happening. Oh, yeah, it's just so hard to get them immediately. You have to really sit there and look at the letters. All right, get some move on quaintly. Um, hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this is Mauna Kea, not Mauna Loa. And then it could be highs still. That's still a volcano on Hawaii. And then maybe this is Coach K. There we go. Yep, that's a good way to avoid having to pronounce Krzyzewski. Yeah, okay. So maybe this is each time. And then it is slaw. Okay, coleslaw, good. And then Sula, hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's plausible enough to keep it in there. P shooters? 10 something? World War II hero informally? Is that Ike? Is that Dwight D. Eisenhower? Maybe this is tendrils. It is about kind of like the shoots of the pea plant that are growing. Yeah, that's great, okay. Okay, here's another anagram. You might be marveling at this as it whizzes by. Looks like it's gonna be a train. Um, is it a maglev train? Oh my God, okay, we got that one pretty quick. All right, um, Dear Blank Hansen, 2017 Tony winning musical. I've seen this on puzzles enough to know that it's Evan. Yeah, I don't really know anything about it beyond the title though. Like zebras and lions. Maned? They both have manes, right? Voice with an echo. An echo is capitalized. So this is some kind of tricky thing. Um, I think the Amazon home assistants come on a product called the Echo, right? So that would be Alexa. Okay, that's very tricky. I like that sneaky little capital there. Like some casts, could that be all-star casts? Did they have an all-star cast in Dear Evan Hansen maybe? Rub it in, um, could be gloat, yeah. Series of questions maybe, could be an exam. Many relationships are instigated on one. Looks like it starts with a date, right? Um, Hmm, I'm having trouble coming up with the end of this. Tight fitting could be snug. It is what it is and others. Uh, those are truisms. Yeah, they prove themselves true. Um, a little too silky, maybe? Is that glib, maybe? I don't know. A glib answer is not very informative, right? Could that be described as silky? I don't know. Counterpart of L's. Ooh, is that French? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to take out glib. That might hurt us more than help us. Disrupt an online meeting in a way? I wonder if that's going to be Zoom bomb. It's a very modern phenomenon. Oh, geez. That B is in there, though. Maybe it is glib. Yeah. I mean, you can be silky, right? That could be a way to describe someone's behavior. I guess if you're a little too smooth, you'd be glib. Yeah, I guess that's th that's the only really way I can explain it. Yeah. Uh, man, I don't know. Gives fuel to could be Stokes, maybe. Ills, is that, I don't know. Men, is this like men and women or something? I'm not sure what this is. Um, is this dating site? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 
skating site. Okay, that's another very modern phenomenon. Aftmost masts on ships. Oh my god, okay. Um, the rearmost masts, I think maybe are called mizzens? I was doing some reading on the different names for the masts a month or two ago, so I do sort of remember seeing this word. Who can hear you scream in space? That is no one. According to Alien, in space, no one can hear you scream. Ending with poly? That could be gone, right? Just like our hexadecagon from yesterday? Yeah. Okay, Wonder Woman and others? She was an Amazon, right? Give one's blessing to... Hmm, could it be allow? Does that make sense? I think it sort of does. Lick, say? If you beat someone in like a sport, you could say that you licked them. That's one meaning of lick. I guess it could be wet also, like you'd lick a stamp or something. Maybe. Burdened. Could be laden. If you're burdened with something, you're laden with it, yeah. It has more coastline than California, surprisingly. Is that Maine? Whoa, that's crazy. Is it because it has so many, like, inlets and the coast is so rough, It, if you spread it out, it would be really long? That's that's really interesting. Uh, burden could be an onus, yeah. We're really burdened in this corner here. Um, they can be noiseless while stalking prey. Uh, this has a lot of S's in it. Is it lionesses? Yeah, that would make sense. And then is this tennis? Score after seven points, maybe. Oh yeah, this is really tricky. Add out. Yeah, I guess because if you each scored three in tennis, that would be deuce, you'd be tied, right? And then if the player that is not serving scores the seventh point, that would be advantage out, yeah. If the person serving won the seventh point, it would be advantage in, add in. Yes, that does show up on the crossword. Title meaning commander. I don't know, is that Emir maybe? Valuable load for a mule. Oh jeez, is this a drug mule? <laughs> is that Kilo? Oh my god. Okay. Showing the effects of an all-nighter, say. That's gotta be bleary-eyed, right? Okay. Certain radio format? Hmm. Is it oldies? Yeah, like, that's the format of the music they play? Maybe. Just could be merely. Is this Eve Saint Laurent? International Cosmetics Company Blanc Rocher. Oh, right. Uh, it probably is still Eve, though. Um, fill in could be brief, yeah? Like a military brief? On it, Captain. Could be I, sir. After he orders you to unfurl the mizzen, maybe? <laughs> I don't know if that's correct sailing terminology. Okay, Vietnamese sandwich. That's definitely a banh mi. Oh my god. It's like my favorite type of food. I love banh mi's. Like a tofu banh mi is just the best thing ever. Um, okay, 1980s gaming initials is the Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah. Um... You should always bring it to a competition. That should be your A game, right? Always bring your A game. Unenthusiastic? Mm, could it be tepid, maybe? Tepid is like lukewarm, yeah. If you're tepid, you did not bring your A game. You can chew on it? Uh... Hmm. You can chew on it. I'm not sure what this is asking. Appetizers or desserts at a diner? Huh. Is it a menu page? Yeah, that would make sense. Each would be a heading on a page of the menu, yeah. Poo poo? Something at? Is it sniff at? Yeah, you're like dismissing it? Old cable TV initials? Um, okay, so this is not going to be CNN because they're still around. Maybe it's TNN? Isn't that like the old like country station? The Nashville Network? Is that what that was? Uh, it was a long time ago, yeah. Blank Merci, French Cry. Uh, hmm. As you all probably know, my French is not super great. It's not due, right? 
Uh, hmm. Larson, who wrote The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. That was Steve Larson. Maybe it's not Sniff At. Maybe it is Dew, because that would be God Have Mercy or something, right? Um, maybe it's Sneer At. Ooh, yeah, that's better. Okay, a five-letter word that replaces a four-letter word, and this is wordplay. So a four-letter word is a curse word, right? So those get bleeped out. That's a great clue. That's really funny. Group trying to sack a quarterback could be the D-line, the defensive line. Okay, can we get this last anagram? Let's see if we can get it at this point. Writing done graphically. Okay, well, this seems to be a P ending in graphy, right? That seems very likely. So this is pap. You can chew on it, pap. Isn't pap kind of like flavorless mush? Like pablum? You can chew on pap. Hmm, I don't know. Writing done graphically. So we don't have either of the L's in here. I'm thinking maybe it's calligraphy. Yeah, that's great. All right, let's see if we can finish off these little downs down here. Sine over tangent. This is trigonometry. I guess that's probably cosine, maybe. Major Japanese carrier. I think that's ASA. I don't know what that stands for. I think I've seen that though. It's multi-layered. No, shouldn't that be an onion? Yeah, maybe it's A-N-A. -A. Is that right? One way to cook a onion. Uh, hmm. It could be saute, right? Kill Bill co-star. Yeah, that was Lucy Liu. And then this should be a T, right? Obscure without. Yeah, that's blot out. Excellent. All right, let's see if that does it for us. Nice. All right, 44 minutes I think is right on target for a Sunday. Um, we did spend a lot of time just staring at the anagrams. <laughs> I mean, I spent a lot of time. Hopefully I um, fast forwarded through most of those to spare you the boredom of just sitting there looking at anagrams. But um, yeah, I really like anagrams in general. I think doing them live, um, I tend to kind of try to speed through them and it's just not something you can really do. So in general, I think doing a live solve, anagrams are probably not the best theme, but just personally, I really love anagrams. So I really liked this theme, even if it wasn't the best for a live solving video. Um, but yeah, these are all very clever. You would marvel at a maglev train, maligners and mean girls. That's a great anagram. This one is weird. I've never Really, I mean, I've heard of grease paint, but I really don't know what it is. So hopefully the goose enlightened us and that's very clever. Um, schematic, catechism. Catechism is a great piece of fill. That's a really cool word. Um, <laughs> white bread and a wide berth. That's funny. Yeah, dating site instigated. Linus, noiseless. Untraversed and adventures. That's a great anagram pair. And graphically and calligraphy is really good too. <laughs> These don't really have any common meanings, but I just loved that the phrase ended up being gift horse. That's really funny. We had some nice long fill on the downs today. I really liked bleary eyed. That's a nice piece of fill. Mizzens is fun. I'm glad we actually got that one right. Tendrils is good. We had a nice winter pun on shivers. I'm really glad that didn't turn out to be shovels. I think my favorite wordplay clue of the puzzle was the Xenon, member of a noble family. That was a really nice misdirection there. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed resettling these letterings on this anagram-packed Sunday puzzle. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice, easy Monday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.